Greetings, future healthcare professionals. Today, we're diving into atropine, a vital first-line treatment in advanced cardiovascular life support for symptomatic bradycardia. But how exactly does atropine work its magic in managing bradycardia? Let's explore further. Atropine is what we call an anticholinergic or anti-muscarinic drug. That's because it antagonizes the muscarine-like actions of acetylcholine. Picture yourself driving a car along the roadways of your body. Some signals urge you to slow down while others push you to speed up. Atropine acts as a traffic cop, halting the slowdown signals. It blocks the acetylcholine receptors, which act as the brake pedals in your car. By inhibiting these receptors, the speed-up signals take charge, ultimately increasing your heart rate. It's like having an open road without any red lights to impede your progress. Now let's determine the right dosage to summon this traffic cop. For adults, the initial dose is 1 mg, administered intravenously. If necessary, this can be repeated every 3 to 5 minutes, up to a maximum dose of 3 mg. When it comes to children, the dosage differs slightly. It is based on their weight, at 0.02 mg per kilogram of body weight. You can give this dose once and repeat it once if needed. Remember, the minimum single dose is 0.1 mg, while the maximum dose is 0.5 mg, regardless of the child's size. Atropine gets to work swiftly, with its effects becoming noticeable within minutes. However, these effects are not long-lasting, typically lasting around 15 to 25 minutes. Now, no drug is without its side effects, and atropine is no different. Some individuals may experience blurred vision, sensitivity to light, a faster heart rate, or a sensation of heat and flushing. And there you have it, a crash course on atropine. This remarkable drug possesses significant power, but like all power, it should be used judiciously. Remember, always stay informed and never stop learning. That's all for today, health heroes. Join us on the next episode for more exciting knowledge.